to today's session so we continue looking at the 2021 grade 12 gce mathematics paper 2. so in the first two episodes we looked at question one and question two so today we are looking at question three which is in the episode three so question three is on construction and it reads answer the o of this question on a sheet of plain paper construct triangle EFG in which EF is equal to 11 centimeter, EG 6.5 centimeter, GF 10 centimeter. So that's the first thing that we are required. So what is important to answer question A is we need to have three important instruments in the circle. So we need to use a ruler a protractor and a compass so the first step that we need to do is for us to answer this question is to find this side that we've been given the first side is ef so what you do is you come at e you make a point then you get your lura and come and measure so you measure your using your lula to measure the 11 centimeter now your ruler is a standard ruler is not expanded ruler so this distance should be 10 11 centimeter the only the issue is i've zoomed in so that we are able to see the shape so uh, when measuring it was 11 centimeter in the actual size so once you do that so you only construct one side which is ef this side then to make the other side you need to use a compass so you get your compass and use your ruler and extend this compass in such a way that the size of this compass is basically 11 uh, centimeter so make sure that you extend it you measure is not 11 6.5 so uh, you come from zero to 6.5 here you measure up to 6.5 somewhere here this 6.5 then you come at e because e g at e here then you make this arc so this arc should be 6.5 so you should make big enough arc then you do the same similarly you come and measure 11 or 10 in this case 10 centimeter up to here you've seen so 10 centimeter somewhere there then you come at f here with your compass your compass and make another arc so you are making another arc so you come and put your compass somewhere here let me just rotate the compass so that you are able to see so you are going to put your compass here and extend it big enough for you to make this arc so now your compass will be big this one is zoomed okay so it's, it's zoomed in a bit so that you should be able to see clearly the the movement so once you do that you also make this arc so the point where they're meeting these two arc so this arc from here is 11 is 10 centimeter then from here is 6.5 centimeter so while these two are meeting then you use your ruler to draw this line at the point of intersection and draw this line so then you get the triangle you are looking for so basically this is how you answer the first part of the question which is part a okay so once you do that you go to part b part b measures measure and light the size of angle e g f e g f which is this angle angle g so again this is where now the third instrument the protractor becomes important so you come here and measure make sure that it's exact there so as you can see here the angle does not change even if you zoom it so this is approximately 100 degrees which is exactly 100 degrees so basically this is how you get the first two marks which is uh uh question e, question e, b and a so let us move to question e, uh c so question C, for us to answer question C, you need two instruments. So you need a ruler and a compass in this case. So we are done with a protractor, then we need a ruler and a compass. So C, within triangle EFG, 
construct the locus of points which are equidistant from EG and EF. So equidistant means the same size, the same size. So they are equal in distance. So for you to construct that, what you need, you need to start with a, a compass. So what you get, you get your compass here and put it at, at E. Remember, EG, they are all sharing E. So they are all moving from E to F, E to G. So that's where we are putting at E. So once you put at E there, you need to make a, a locus. Okay? So just extend it in any distance, then you create uh, any, but maintain that the distance is the same as you do. You make a locus. You make a locus here, this point, and another one using the same distance. So once you do the same distance, then you bring your compass at one of these arc, then you create another arc. So you need to create another arc in this case. So you create another arc like this. Then you do the same here. You bring it here and do another arc. So you do another arc while maintaining the same distance. So you do another arc. So the points where these two are meeting, the point where these two are meeting is uh, where you put now, you get your ruler. So get your ruler and come and measure, draw a straight line. So a straight line in such a way that this straight line should pass through like this. So you make your ruler like this, then draw this straight line. So you draw a straight line there. So that straight line, once you draw a straight line that passes like this, so this line will be equidistant from EG and EF. It will be something in the sense that this distance it will be the same. That's what it means. So basically, that's how you deal with it. question um, C1, which is this one, that line. So they'll be looking for this arc, this arc, and this arc, then this straight line for you to get the full two marks. Then uh, C, question C, C, Loma Numeritum. 2.5 cm from EF. 2.5 cm from EF. Again, you need a compass. So when you're dealing with the construction, compass is the most compass and the ruler are the two most used instrument that you are going to use during your... So again, you come, remember, equidistance from EF. So EF is this line. Okay? This line there, the first line that you constructed. So for you to get the line that is... 2.5 cm from EF, what you need to do is you need to extend the, the locus, not locus, the compass, make a, 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 a radius of uh, 2.5. 2.5, so once you make 2.5 like this, you measure on your ruler, you come to your ruler here and measure this to make sure that it's 2.5. You put it at exactly 2.5 under the normal ruler, so the normal ruler it will be exactly 2.5 if the ruler is extended and is big enough. You discover that you measure 2.5. So once you measure 2.5, then come and come at E at point E here, then make an arc. Then at point F also make an arc. Then get a ruler, then you get a ruler and draw a line. Okay, so you need to make a, a tangent line to these two arcs. So ensure that it's, it's straight enough. So you make the tangent. So once you put it properly, then you draw a tangent line that passes through these two points. Okay, so you draw this tangent line that passes through this. So it will be a tangent line. So once it's a tangent line, what you get is basically the line which is in a 2.5 centimeter from EF. So this this line, the line that you're seeing, C, this is C22. Okay, so basically this is how you get that. Let us move to our number three. Equidistant from E and F. So meaning equal distance from E and F. E and F. So again here you need a compass and a ruler. Compass and a ruler. So equidistant from E and F. So equal distance from E and F. So what you need to do is you need to use again your compass, extend it just big enough without specific measurement, just big enough that is more than half the distance between E and e, F, more than half the distance between E and F. So once you do there, then go to E, at E there, here like E in this case, then make an arc. 
so you make an arc so let me just reduce it a bit so i think it's it's uh, uh properly drawn so I'll do some arc so I'll, I'll, then i'll make an arc you've seen this arc i'll make an arc like this so i'll make an arc then i'll do the same uh okay remember i'll make an arc then once you make an arc without changing the 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 the, the, the radius again make another arc key so that you have two arc this side and this arc then again bring this a compass at e at f then also make an arc so you make an arc in this case to be like this then another arc here so where these two points are meeting then you draw a line and that line will be equal distance from f and e and that's the line that they are looking for so that's how you answer this one to get the, these two marks then you would have gotten the, 12, the 10 marks then let us go to the last part so the last part basically so the last part uh basically uh leads okay it leads uh d a point p within triangle efg is such that it's nearer to ef than e g nearer to ef than eg so ef is nearer to ef than eg so this line is the one which is showing so nearer to ef than eg so it's this region down here this line then nearer to e than to f nearer to e than e to f so it's this region you see so we have these two lines where these two lines are meeting here these lines that's the that region below that's the region we are interested in then we go on to say and is greater than or equal to 2.5 away from ef okay from ef so this is the line which is 2.5 or greater so we draw this line see this line so we are looking for this above so basically remain with this region see this region indicate clearly the, by shading the region in which p must lie so this is basically the region in which p must lie you've seen this region this is the region they are interested in so basically this is how you get the two marks so basically this is how you answer the question on construction